Hello, I'm Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network, and thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to cover a topic that is uh, pretty frequent. I get more in the comments of all the articles on the Consumer Recovery Network website, and sometimes here on our YouTube channel as well. And it's that people want to just deal with their bank. They don't want to deal with debt collectors. They don't wanna to have to deal with a debt buyer. And so the question is, is why, why can't I just call my bank? How come when I call my bank, they won't work with me? Well, it, it's like this. Most lenders have an expectation that somebody's gonna fall late and not be able to pay them. That's actually a pretty small percentage, all things considered, depending on how things are working in the economy. But uh, it's usually 2%-ish, low, higher, but normal, right around there, of accounts that don't perform, stop paying on them. And so that's a large enough percentage. Imagine a bank with credit cards, Chase or B of A or Citibank or something like that, and that 2% is a massive number. And so they've got these policies that deal with unpaid accounts. The vast majority of your banks are going to start to place accounts with third parties other than their own inter internal paid employee resources to collect from you um, after six months on credit cards. Amex is a little bit different. They'll send it out earlier than six months, but most credit card banks are gonna do it after six months. And what happens when they do that is they're doing it under a contract. They have a contract with the collection agency, say it's Credit Control or United Collections Bureau or Altran or any of these major debt collectors in the United States. And a lot of times those contracts might run in the beginning of your delinquency at the first, like if they're the first collection agency to get it, they might have it for 90 days. Later on, after you've been late a couple of years or a year, maybe the collector that gets it at that point might have it for you know four to six months. But it's, it's not forever, it, it changes hands. It goes, it comes back, let's say Chase. They send it out to UCB, United Collections, and it's seven months late. UCB has it for 90 days, nothing happens. They try to write to you, try to call you, or you're like, well, I'm not dealing with UCB, I'm only gonna deal with Chase. So you call Chase, they won't talk to you. They'll say, well, sorry, we have this out with a collection agency known as United Collections Bureau, Inc. Here's their phone number. Would you like us to connect you to the, to the collector? Oh, hot transfer you right there. So that, that's normal. It's by contract. Even if you wanted to pay Chase right there on the phone, they are going to refer you to UCB. What if you just pay off your debt in full? Don't even try and negotiate a settlement, which I would encourage you to try to do if you're that late. No sense in paying full freight if you don't have to, and, and you don't. But what if you just send them a check for the full amount? They'll probably give UCB a cut like they, because they were contracted for collection on that account anyway. Oftentimes, Chase is a perfect example for this. Oftentimes, I find that the settlement work that we do, we get better outcomes from the collector. Now, a lot of other banks, it's gonna be a worse outcome with the debt collector. So I don't blame you. I wanna work with, the collect, with the, your creditor too, your bank. They, because the outcomes are better. But man, that's such a hard thing to time. Because again, in the example I gave about Chase sending out to UCB for 90 days and nothing happens, Chase pulls it back. I mean, it might be, you would have to time that so perfectly to call Chase to start negotiating with them in that same day before it's packaged up and sent back out to client services or something else, like some other collector. So it's really hard to get that done you'd have to wait a lot of years before you know Chase just pulls it in and sits on it. And you've got goals, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video trying to resolve the debt, talking to your bank and trying to avoid the debt collectors. Debt buyers, that's another topic, right? Because a lot of banks don't sell debt, some do, like Citibank and Synchrony primarily, Comenity, they all sell debt as of the date of this recording. And that debt buyer, when you call up, uh, Chase doesn't sell debt, they haven't since 2013, but let's say Citibank sold your debt to a PRA, Portfolio Recovery Associates or Midland Funding. And you call up Citibank, it's like, I don't wanna deal, I see PRA on my credit and I don't wanna to talk to them, I just wanna to talk to you. Sorry for your luck, Here, here's their number, we can transfer you over if you'd like, because they sold the legal rights to the debt, right? So you don't get to work with your bank when they sold it off. There is no timing element for you to try and you know, capitalize on that one day that the chase brings it back in, if you're lucky, it's, it's gone. You don't get to do it. And the creditor in that instance should actually be showing a zero balance on your credit report because they sold the legal rights off to it, to a debt buyer. Whereas in these examples with UCB and client services and Altran, these contingency debt collection agencies that I mentioned, they're gonna still 
I mean, they're collecting from you, but it's your bank that is going to still be showing on your credit report as money owed to them because that's who's owed. They didn't sell the legal rights off to it. So if you want to deal with your creditor and you call your creditor, always try. I mean, why wouldn't you if you're not afraid of the word no? Then you find out it's with somebody else and that's who you have to deal with. If you have a specific collection agency, especially if they're behaving badly or it's been difficult to work out a deal with them and that's why you wanna deal with your creditor because it should be easier, right, you're thinking, post about that collection agency in the comments and I can give you some feedback about some steps that you might wanna to consider to reach your goals. Or I might be able to tell you, okay, well, in this instance, if you're not in a hurry, maybe if you just wait this amount of time specific to each creditor and how they behave, then I say, okay, just give it this much time and, and then contact your creditor and then you can work with them. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It helps other people see our videos and I'll see you on the next one.